Hey everybody, this is Ashley with Publish with Ashley, and I am going to talk to you about niches. I know everyone is always asking, what niche should I do? And um, they're just confused. And so I came up with what I'm calling my personal niche hunter, and it is to help you come up with niche ideas that are personal to you. Um, and so I think the best niches, honestly, are ones that you know something about. I know you're thinking, I don't know anything. I, I can't do anything. I can't make stuff about stuff I know. But that's just not true. You don't have a system to do that. So this video, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about a system to be able to find niches and ask yourself questions and generate like a million ideas. And so get ready and we're going to talk about that. Check out the show notes. You can... Um, join my Facebook group. You can check out my website with some freebies. And actually this personally niche hunter, it's going to be, um, I'm going to put in the show notes where you can find that. So definitely be sure and check that out. This is a freebie. It's something, a PDF that you guys can download and use. All right. So, um, let's talk about this. Okay. So I think personal niches are generally one of the best niches you can do. If you know something about a subject, you're already at a head start and you can do something that people will be interested in that will be valuable to your customers. And I'm always about value to your customers because if people are going to spend their hard money on it, aren't hard earned money on it, then you want something of value and you want to provide something of value because that makes them happy and you get, get, get good ratings. And you know, it just, it goes, you get views and it just gets better. So you have ideas and you have things you know in your head and there's experiences that are unique just to you. And all you need is kind of a system to pull those ideas out. So I sat down and I brainstormed and I thought, okay, what's a way I can help people do that? So I came up with this. So this is the first page. Um, it's the personal niche hunter index idea um, or idea index. Okay. So what it is, is it's just a bunch of lines with, okay, right here, you're supposed to fill out hobbies. So here's all the hobbies, just anything you can think of. This is brainstorming. There are no bad ideas in brainstorming. Write everything down that's a hobby. Write a hobbies that you're like, oh, I haven't done that in five years. That's fine. Write them down. Interest. What are you interested in? Write as many as you can think of down. Skills that you have, and anything can be a skill. Can you sew? Can you cook? Can you um, come up with recipes? Are you really good at um, jump roping? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. What are your skills? Um, can you sharpen knives? Um, do you have like hula hooping skills? It doesn't really matter. Anything. Um, it could be professional skills as well. Um, but just anything that is even crazy to something maybe on the more professional or work side. Um, and if you're thinking the crazy on the skills side, don't worry, we have jobs and work experience. So write down all the jobs you've had and all the work experiences you had. Um, one of my first jobs was cricket counting. And so um, I counted crickets for a bait shop and I counted mealworms and I counted earthworms. I don't know particularly what I would do with that for a low content book, but it was something I'd write down. Um, I worked as a sandwich maker, so I made sandwiches. Um, I've done a lot of really odd things. Write down all your work jobs you've had, even the crazy ones, and then write down different work experiences maybe you've had, um, just doing something uh, more of an experience type thing. If you've worked at a summer camp or something like that, that could be something. Now, you can put challenges you've overcome or overcoming, and this can be so many things. Um, you know, have you had back pain, foot pain? Have you had a... Um, you know, a child who's had a certain disability. Have you had a disability? Uh, there's just so many things that can be under this challenges you've overcome. So just think very broad and put whatever you want in there. Now, once you've filled out as much as you can fill out on this, which is a lot more than you think probably when you first start, but just start filling this out and maybe come back to it after, you know, a few hours or a few days and try and add more. I'm sure you'll come up with more than you think. All right, so the next thing to do is I'm calling this the personal niche hunter and the questions. So what I want you to do for each of these, you're gonna have to get out some paper um, and you know, a pencil or pen, and you're gonna write down 
for each of these categories here. So like a hobby. So whatever, so let's say your hobby is um, baseball, like you like to play baseball. Okay. So what is a sub niche of baseball? Um, softball. Softball is kind of a sub niche of baseball. Uh, so maybe something you're going to put a sub niche and then you're either going to put the opposite niche or a concept. Um, let's see, an opposite niche or a concept for baseball. That one might be harder. Um, maybe an opposite niche is something, maybe something a little different. It's harder with the sports, uh, like golf or something like that. But let's say, just try and think of something opposite or a different concept. You don't have to fill this out. You really kind of fill out the sub niche, but this one is just to give you additional ideas. So that pros and cons or um, positive and negative kind of think of things in both sides of the coin. Now, what I want you to do for every single one of these. So we started with hobbies, baseball. We came up with maybe softball as a sub niche. And I want you to go through and ask yourself every single one of these questions. Start here, go all the way down, come back up and go down again and start thinking of ideas that can go with this. Can, so kind of ask yourself, is there a challenge involved with baseball? Um, is there something challenging? Um, if you're a coach, maybe there's different challenges you could come up with being a coach. Um, if you're really interested in the subject, you know, things I've learned, what have you learned about baseball? Is there something you can do with that? Things I wish I knew. Um, is there a low content book idea with that? Is there a way to organize something uh, with baseball? Um, these organization, uh, is there like, can you organize your games or your stats? That might be definitely fall under the collect data with baseball. I know with a lot of sports stats and data are a big thing. Can you organize and collect data? So there's maybe some low content book ideas. Uh, coach, can you make this can you make this as a coach or to help others? Um, so a coach version of a softball or baseball book for um, coaches. Um, is there something you can study about this or do a study guide for? Um, doesn't really work with baseball and not all of these are going to work with your topic, but the idea is to go through every single one of these questions to start coming up with ideas. Um, a prompt journal. If someone is really into baseball, maybe you ask different um, baseball questions, like facts, facts about baseball, and you can do a fact book, and you put the fact in, you give a place to answer, and then you have the answers in the back. So maybe that could be a quiz, which actually is down one of here, a puzzle or a game book. But I was just thinking prompts, what kind of prompts with baseball? A planner, is there some sort of um, planning baseball parties, um, planning kids parties that are baseball. Um, this, I start asking myself, goal setting is, okay, so if you're really into baseball and you want to improve your skills, is there some sort of goal setting maybe with also collecting stats about baseball or softball? Um, those would definitely be something you could possibly do. A coloring book, um, adult coloring book, kids coloring book, activity book. You could do an activity book all around baseball. Um, and what kind of activities? Anything, right? It just depends who you're you're aiming that book at. If it's little kids, it might be coloring pages and really easy crosswords and matching or find something type things. Um, can you do a game book? We talked about, you know, a fact book. Um, maybe that would be a good baseball book. Recipe book. Um, you know, uh, people do a lot of parties for baseball. Uh, so, or just, you know, tailgating parties. It's more a football is a tailgating thing as far in the U.S., Where's a party and you go and you cook food? So is there recipes or is there something you could do with baseball themed um, children's books? No, there's, you know, all sorts of different, you know, books you can come up with, like coloring books, learning book. Is there something you can learn with this particular topic? Uh, list book and bucket list. So a list book is anything that can be made into a list. Um, a bucket list is things you want to accomplish. Could that be done with this? And then all you're going to do is keep going down these. Um, I'm going to talk not specifically about baseball, but I'm going to try and show you what I mean by each of these. Um, is there, you know, guest book, any sort of party involved with that? A memory book, can you do some sort of memory book? Um, if your kid's really into, this one's with baseball, 
um, you could have some sort of, you know, places for them to put pictures and their stats and just kind of make it scrapbooky. Age group, can you focus on a certain age group? Is there, um, in that topic, is there something that could be used for younger, older, maybe seniors? Uh, collect feedback. Is there something, like if you're going on, if you're doing like um, improving your job of interview skills, is there, if you're doing some topic like that and you had skills in job interviews, then maybe you'd want spots to collect feedback. Each time they go on a job interview, you put feedback down. So there could be something with that. Um, the idea is just, is there some, some sort of collection that would be useful? Artistic expression. I wanted to put this in, in because, okay, so one of the things I saw is like um, eggs. So I saw a bunch of, for Easter, they just had round eggs, and then they had these suggestions on how you could decorate the eggs. So, and then it was like beautiful art expression. I saw skateboards where you have a skateboard outline and people get to draw skateboards, you know, design their own skateboard. Is there something like that you could do with this? Some sort of artistic type expression um, and be creative. Um, funny topic. Is there a funny topic about that subject? Is there a trending topic or is there a saying about it? Can you do something with the ideas of 365, 180 or 90 day book? Quote books. Is there something involved with music you could do or add music as a niche to it? Um, art in general. So is there some sort of art that is involved in it? Creativity. Is there something, um, a creative aspect to it? Uh, collecting resources. That meaning like, um, could you collect a bunch of information about that particular topic and make it useful to people in some way? Um, or offer space for them, like ask questions and then they could do the research within that book. Uh, it just depends what your topic is. A journal and an activity book or activity book to promote growth. Is there something that if it's you were talking about work experience or job, is there some sort of growth aspect to it and what can you do with that? Can you categorize or order data or information? So this kind of comes back to collecting data, but sometimes if you ask the question in a different way, new ideas pop up, especially you know after you've answered a lot of these. Uh, can it be a gift? Can, there, can you do something gifty with it? Um, a group of people, can it be made into a couple's book? Uh, can you skew it so that it has some sort of life change? Uh, like marriage, baby, and death are huge life changes in people's lives. Um, so is there something with those sub-niches that can be mixed in with your niche? Um, can there be something done financial? Uh, financial planning for that event or... Um, you know, just different things. So all these questions are meant for you to go through every single one of these that you put down and ask yourself all these questions. And I promise you, there's some great ideas that you already have in your head. You just haven't been able to pull them out. And that's what this kind of personal niche hunter is meant to do, is meant for you to brainstorm everything, put everything you can think of on this page, and then take each one and start looking at all these different things for each one. And then, you know, looking to see if there's a sub niche for that, looking to see if there's an opposite concept or niche that um, is kind of on the opposite end to give you additional ideas. I hope this was really helpful. And uh, if you go into the show notes, I will show have where you can get this. And I will, I'm so glad <laughs> you're here. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.